Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is James here today with your daily GTA 5 tips, news, info, and more. And today I have a compilation of some tips and tricks on how to improve your skills fast and easy on GTA Online. And most of these skills work for other games too. Now alongside these tips, I'm going to be reviewing two products that suppose and claim to improve your game really fast and easy, the Scuff Controller and the Control Freaks. I'm going to be reviewing those and giving you my input and my user experience on those and how they can actually help your game and generally giving an overview on that. Now if you did enjoy the video, please make sure to support it by leaving a like and also if you're new around here make sure to subscribe for some more awesome daily GTA 5 content now the first thing I want to talk about is improving your aiming method and aiming style in GTA online this can be done by changing your crosshairs to complex it definitely helps me out everything essentially is no longer a dot gives you complex crosshairs that can be done in the settings you can head over there and change your complex crosshairs and also sensitivity too especially if you're in free aim or free any type of free aiming mode sensitivity is definitely going to matter if you have the assisted aiming you should be all right it'll snap on to people but if you have free aim i recommend experimenting with sensitivity is what works best for you usually the default in gta online works best for most people because they've gotten used to that but i recommend doing is slowly bumping your sensitivity up until you get to a point where you cannot use it anymore and just get all over the place, then that is your point. You can get used to that and work up to there eventually, essentially getting used to your new sensitivity and that will be your main one. Slowly you'll find yourself pushing the bar more and more to keep raising your sensitivity. Same thing goes for Call of Duty, just slowly up your sensitivity until you find that golden sweet spot. If, the, if your sensitivity or aim that is, is already all over the place, I recommend putting your sensitivity down a little bit. Just general stuff in the sensitivity and aiming section that will help you out. Using assisted aiming is great, especially if you have bad aim. The only problem is everybody has assisted aiming, so your gun will automatically snap to people, which can be very annoying at times. People will spawn and just automatically snap to you. A good way to get out of the assisted aiming is doing barrel rolls that can be kind of complicated, especially when aiming. You're doing lots of things at once, and I'm going to talk about how to do barrel rolls really easy later with the scuff remappable paddles. Right now, we're going to hop into the video portion of this review, reviewing the scuff. Scuff is a custom controller company. And and many custom controller companies claim to help you improve your game. Scuff is used by the best of the best. Almost all the MLG players use Scuff, but many people think Scuff is only for competitive Call of Duty. And while Scuff was originally designed to help people who play competitive Call of Duty, Scuff controllers are actually great for any game. They give you an advantage wherever you go, purely because of the design of the controller with the paddles and all that stuff. That will definitely help you out no matter what game you play. And along with that, we're going to be doing the Control Freaks. They're cheap little thing you put on the top of your controller. They're really inexpensive, and they supposedly claim to help you with your aim. Do they really? We'll talk about that later on in the video. Let's over to the video portion of the review right now. All right, heading on to the video part of the review, I want to talk about two awesome products today. All the things you can do to help you out, all these in-game tactics, practice, all that stuff can definitely help you out, but it's always nice to get some new gaming gear. Uh, Christmas is just over, and there are loads of controllers and products that suppose and claim to help you at getting better at games, and most of them are not true. I want to talk about two products today that I highly recommend you get for yourself. I've used both of them for a while. I've loved both of them. This is not, I'm not blindly reviewing or promoting this product. I came to Scuff and Control Freak offering to help them out. I even asked for a discount code for my followers. I said, you know, these are great products and I was wondering if I had permission to review these for Christmas. I didn't get to that in time, but we have the two controllers right here for Scuff and also these have the Control Freak Vortex on them. I'll talk about those in just a second. On the left side, we have a Scuff FPS color. This is not a hybrid Scuff. It has trigger stops and is meant for like Call of Duty. For those wondering about getting trigger stops, they are only meant for Call of Duty and Gears of War. You cannot use them for any other game because you'll have issues with driving or anything like that, accelerating any game that requires you to, or has pressure amounts on the st on the uh, left and right trigger, the game will not work for it. Or like, control the controller will not work for, excuse me. It's New Year's morning and I'm getting off track right here already. But, a very nice grip as you can hopefully see with the light. Uh, trigger stops, very cool controller. But if you look at the bag, just kind of compare them, this one has a little bit of a different uh, general shape to it. Try to center this right here. This is the hybrid scuff. Uh, these paddles are actually a lot closer. They're a lot more comfortable. This fits in your hand better, the shape of the controller. This one has no grip, it's smooth. Uh, it has white LEDs and loads of cool stuff on it. And this is my new favorite scuff. This is my old one. I use this for every game I play. It has the new remappable paddles feature, meaning if you want to remap these paddles, these are like A and B. So you can jump without actually having to get your hands all over the place on A. You can press these and they'll go. They make these for PS3 and Xbox, and they're planning on making them for the new consoles, the next gen, PS4 and Xbox One, too. Now I want to take a quick second to talk about paddles. So we're going to talk about doing a barrel roll. 
For those who do not know, in GTA 5 you can do a barrel roll. These controllers are meant for any game, by the way. People only think scuffs for Call of Duty, and they're really meant for any type of game. FPS, RPG, any type of online game. They even work with PC, too, so they're very fun. Good to use controllers. The, the paddles work with PC, too, which I'm going to talk about right now. Uh, suppose you're playing GTA and want to do a barrel roll. That is pretty complicated in the sense that you have to press loads of buttons at once. Aiming down your sight with the left trigger, moving to your left, free aiming with your right stick, and then somehow managing to double tap X all through that. See all this wasted motion? You have to leave your right stick completely open. With the paddle on the bottom, you can move to your left, aim down your sight, free aim without getting rid of any type of aiming or moving your hands at all. You can double tap X and barrel roll, and people will definitely not expect it. It's a great tactic. The sticks that are on here, people will call me crazy, but it does mention on their website they have, they did something to the sticks that makes them like kind of snap back a little bit more, and surprisingly, they're mainly meant for like aiming better in Call of Duty, but they really help a lot with your driving skills and aiming skills in GTA, especially at a longer range, and for driving when you're changing lanes, high speed, fast chases, it feels like you're snapping to the road a lot easier, and uh, definitely it really does help, instantly noticeable difference when I got this controller and started driving, it was, I'm bobbing and weaving through traffic, it's pretty good, but I want to also take a quick second to talk about Control Freaks. Uh, essentially, they're really cheap, inexpensive, and I was nice enough to get codes for both these companies. Emailed them and asked them if it was possible to give you guys a discount. Since I was re I was reviewing these products and I wouldn't want to make you guys buy them at full price, James, Code James, J A M E S, works at checkout for both of these and it'll get you a discount. But with that being said, these Control Freaks are really inexpensive. If you have maybe ten dollars left over from Christmas money or anything like that. You're going to want to buy the Control Freaks if you have any money left over. They're great for stocking stuffers for Christmas, but that's already passed. Essentially, they're pretty inexpensive. They give you more leverage. These are noticeably uh, different. At first, you'll feel really discombobulated and off, but eventually, over time, you will get used to them. They have them in different shapes, colors, and sizes, and even feels concave, convex, whatever fits your needs, and they're really helpful. I love them. I've used them for over a year. Same with the Scub. I've had my Scub for just about a year now. This one, this is a newer one I just got sent, the Hybrid. And look at that design on there, that's beautiful. Scuff is great for uh, the, having designs on controllers. They're very simplistic. I know some people like amazing, crazy stuff on their controllers, and Scuff really had some simplistic designs. Like this one, I really liked it. It's not going overboard. And recently, Scuff has announced some newer controllers that have some more uh, detailed designs on it, like this one right here. This is the Avenged controller. It's built off of Avenged Sevenfold. And even if you're not an Avenged Sevenfold fan, this controller is amazing. Has white LEDs, this cool logo on here, blacked out buttons, the D-pad. Look at that detail again. I try to get my camera to focus on it, but I don't think it's going to work. It's amazing, a beautiful controller, and that's going to wrap up my video portion of the Control Freak and Scuff review. Talk about a few more things to improve your game right after this, and along with the outro. Let's go to that. All right, now that we're back to wrap things up, the Scuff controller is very good, easily the best custom controller on the market right now. And if you do have a little bit of money to throw that way after Christmas, I definitely recommend getting a Scuff. The paddles make it easy, especially with the remappable paddles. They make it easy to move around and have an advantage by doing barrel rolls and give you the ability to do stuff and use combinations in GTA Online you normally can't do. Everything from enter cheat codes faster to barrel rolls and cross the map and helping with their free aim. Scuff is amazing, even with your driving, the non-lock sticks, or I'm not really sure the exact name from the like springy sticks, that helps huge amounts for your driving. As for control freaks, those actually do help too. At first, when you get the control freaks, it may take a while to get used to them. Same thing with the Scuff controller, it may take a little bit of time to get used to, but eventually, you will get snapped on, you will get used to the game, and you'll notice yourself being way better than you were before. Both are amazing products, both are for two people with two different price ranges. I definitely recommend getting the Scuff controller if you do have the money. It is just after the holiday season, and man oh man, Scuff looks great under that Christmas tree. Too bad we didn't get a chance to review it before Christmas. But moving on to the control freaks, they are very expensive, very cheap, even great stocking stuffers for Christmas, but we moved past that already. Uh, if you have just a little bit of money left over, maybe 10 and $15, you can use the discount code JAMES. JAMES, J-A-M-E-S, works for both of them. That was my way to kind of help you guys out, get a little bit of a discount after Christmas. Those codes will help you out, both of these. I definitely recommend you try them out if you have the money. To wrap things up, there are loads of things you can do to improve your general skill at the game, from changing your target mode to finding your optimal sensitivity. Practice is always a huge factor. The more you play, the better you're going to get. There's loads of companies that claim to help you improve your aim and game skills. Scuff and Control Freak are two companies that actually do help and come through. Their customer support service is great. I love everybody there, and they were nice enough to help me out with this review. I really appreciate it and hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to thumbs it up by leaving a like. And also, if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe for some more awesome daily GTA 5 content. Make sure to follow my Twitter and like my Facebook to stay up to date. 
I really hope this video helped out and have a nice day. Erectile dysfunction is bad, but leaving a like on the video isn't. Whether you're hard or soft, make sure to slap that like button and subscribe while you're at it.